Mayor de Blasio tries to paper over the Rivington nursing home scandal by offering to build another facility. This comes as his top deputy faced fierce grilling by the city council over the debacle. TV 1055's political reporter Marsha Kramer has more. Why did that breakdown occur? Okay, obviously, the major breakdown in terms of executions. Mayor de Blasio's first deputy, Anthony Shores, on the city council hot seat for almost three hours, grilled about the controversial Rivington House deal in which the city allowed a nursing home to be developed into luxury condos despite stringent deed restrictions. Shores fell on his sword. I recognize that what happened here was not the right outcome for the community, for the taxpayers. Much of what happened here is clearly the city's responsibility. Shores admitting he was ultimately accountable for the deal in which a developer called the Allure Group headed by Joel Landau bought the property for $28 million then paid the city $16 million to remove deed restrictions that stipulated the property be used as a health facility. Three months later the property was sold for $116 million, a $72 million profit. But Shores also attempted to get out from under the scandal by saying the city has found another location on Pike Street on the Lower East Side to build affordable senior housing and assisted living units. I asked Shores if the administration thinks building the new facility will help the mayor dig out of the Rivington scandal. Well, I don't think it, it, it deals with all of the issues. Council members say it won't make Rivington disappear. The Rivington scandal is too deep uh, to be gotten out from under. I mean, the whole thing was just a, a debacle. What happened in Rivington is wrong. There is no way that they dig out from this. Not only do they need to fix the policy, they need to change it so that something like this never happens again. And in another attempt to get out from under the scandal, the city is also going to hold public hearings. Members of the public actually allowed to testify about proposed changes to deed restriction laws. That hearing, November 1st. At City Hall, I'm Marcia Kramer, TV 1055.